Trump threatens funding after Michigan absentee ballot move. President Donald Trump threatened Wednesday to hold up coronavirus relief money for Michigan after he said, erroneously, that the state had sent absentee ballot to millions of voters. It's not clear that he can do so. Michigan mailed applications for the absentee ballots, not the ballots themselves. Michigan sends absentee ballot to 707 million people ahead of primaries and the general election. Trump tweeted Wednesday, This was done illegally and without authorization by your rogue Secretary of State. I will ask to hold up funding to Michigan if they want to go down this voter fraud path. Trump later made a similar threat against Nevada which has sent ballots to voters for its 9 June state primary. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the upcoming election has no bearing on the presidential race become Nevada held its Democratic presidential caucus in February and canceled its Republican presidential caucus. A federal judge recently cleared Nevada's decision to mail ballots which, which were sent by the Republican Secretary of State. State of Nevada thinks that they can send out illegal vote by mail ballots creating a great voter fraud scenario for the state and the uni United States they can't. If they do, I think I can hold up fans to the state, sorry, but you, you must not cheat in elections, Trump tweeted. I was not immediately clear how Trump could delay the funds which come from coronavirus relief spending measures he signed into law. Trump tagged his acting BG director, his chief of staff and the treasury department on the tweets. Trump has been very vocal about his opposition to voting by mail, claiming the practice is ripe for fraud, although there is scant evidence of widespread wrongdoing with mail in voting. Trump himself requested a mail ballot for Florida's GOP primary last month and he has voted absentee in previous elections.